guys. Today I'm going to be calling these actually funny numbers. Uh, I got them on a list and funny. They all start in 605. By the way, did I say Happy New Year's? I don't know. But let's get to calling. So the first one is going to be 605-475-6962. Let's call it. Hello, and thanks for calling How to Keep an Idiot Entertained, where we will show you how to keep an idiot entertained. We're not completely captivated. They're stupid little brains pleasantly preoccupied with something that nobody with an IQ over 20 would find remotely entertaining. That's right. They'll be staring off into space, their eyes glazed over like cavemen, occasionally reaching back to scratch their butts while a stream of drool runs down their chin and onto their shoes which are probably Velcro, because shoelaces are far too complex for idiots like them. And now, let's begin. Wait, no need, because we're already done. If you're still listening, then we have just successfully kept an idiot entertained for an entire minute. Thanks for calling How to Keep an Idiot Entertained. If you would like to learn how to make an idiot push buttons, press 1. <laughs> my hotline. Alrighty. That was just weird, but let's just call the next one. Thank you for calling the Human Resources Department. In an effort to increase productivity, please note the latest policy changes going into effect next Monday, sick days. We will no longer accept a doctor's notice proof of illness. If you are able to go to the doctor, you are able to come to work. Funerals are no longer an excuse for missing work. There is nothing you can do for dead friends or relatives. They're already dead. You should be at work. Bathroom breaks. Entirely too much time is being spent in bathrooms. There is now a strict three-minute time limit in the stalls. At the end of three minutes, an alarm will sound. The toilet paper roll will retract. The stall door will open, and your picture will be taken and posted on Facebook. Your picture will be taken and posted on Facebook. Thank you for calling the Human Resources Department, where the lives of disgruntled workers are about to get even worse than they already are. Okay. So the next one we're going to call is the number shown on the screen. Duh. Hello. The following is an urgent message from the National Justice Center. If you are hearing this message, it means that our records indicate you failed to appear for jury duty last Monday morning at 9 a.m. Unfortunately, ignoring these notifications and failing to appear in court for jury duty is a Class 3 misdemeanor. To make arrangements to pay the $500 fine for failure to appear for jury duty, press 2. To make arrangements to begin serving a 30-day prison sentence for failure to appear for jury duty, press 3. You have one final option, and we strongly suggest you choose this one. Rather than a $500 fine or a 30-day prison sentence, you may instead choose to pay it forward and simply pass this phone number on to your top 10 most gullible friends and attempt to trick them into thinking that this is actually a real failure to appear for jury duty notification. Alrighty. Let's call the next one. Thank you for calling the psychiatric hotline. Please listen carefully to all options before making your selection. If you are obsessive compulsive, please press 1 repeatedly. If you suffer from multiple personality disorder, please press 2. If you are codependent, please ask someone else to press 5 on your behalf. Oh, if you are can you press 5, please? Please stop doing that with the phone, put your clothes back on, and then dial extension 69. If you are schizophrenic, listen carefully, and a little voice will tell you which number to press. Okay, if you suffer not from irrational nice. paranoia, there is no need to press any button. We already know who you are and what you want. Just stay on the line so we can trace the call. If you are delusional and occasionally hallucinate, please be aware that the thing you are holding on the side of your head is alive and about to bite off your ear. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got one last number to call. Let's call it. Hello, this is not the person you were trying to call. You've reached the rejection hotline. Unfortunately, the person who gave you this rejection hotline number did not want you to have their real number. We know this sucks, but don't be too devastated. So why were you given a rejection hotline number? Maybe you're just on this person's type. No, this could mean boring, dumb, annoying. 
lying, arrogant, or just a general weirdo. Maybe you suffer from bad breath, body odor, or a nasty combination of the two. Maybe you just give off that creepy, overbearing, psycho stalker vibe, and the idea of going out with you just seems as appealing as playing leapfrog with unicorns. Regardless of the reason, please take the hint, accept the fact that you were rejected, and then get over it. And please do your best to forget about the person who gave you this number, because trust us, they've already forgotten about you. <laughs> Alrighty! Some of those weren't very nice, but I don't care. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed so much. And I hope you have a wonderful 2020! Ah!